Yep. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Kenzie. Tyson. Riley. I'm Kelly, and this is Alice. We're the Fagala family from Missouri, and we're mm, ha, 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 ha. we're homestead homies from Missouri, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Homeschool field trip. Hey, hey, hey! How about that intro, guys? Hold on, you got something on your nose here. All right, that's a little bit better. So anyway, today is a homeschool field trip day. Apparently the off-grid homestead has become a great spot for uh, people in our area. Uh, they come up, they get a hold of us, and then they bring their kids up for a homeschool field trip day. And uh, we show them around the place. We uh, spend some time with them. Um, you guys are gonna see like what we do with the kids when they come up. We're gonna follow them around. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And uh, let's get schooling. Come here, Stacey, I made mean, these for you. Oh my, I love it. This is for the cast iron pan, right? Oh, I oh I love it. I always burn my hands and I forget my pot holders. These are heavy duty and awesome. Thank you, and look at these. And you made these? Mm -hmm. How long did they take you to make? One hour. They're beautiful and they are, they won't, I won't burn my hand because they're so thick. A lot of thought went into it, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so very much. That was really thoughtful. I love them, thank you. All right, so you guys are just in time because I'm going to go ahead and switch my apple cider vinegar that I'm making. It's already turned into a hard cider, and um, I'm going to strain this out and put it in a bottle to ferment a little longer. Okay, so I think this might be where mine is. I think I might have ruined my apple cider vinegar. Okay. So I put in the apples and the water and the sugar, Okay. and it just kind of smells like wine. And so how long has it been fermenting? Um, probably six or seven weeks. Oh, so it's perfect. Okay. So you just basically made a hard, hard cider. Okay. And then we're gonna what? That's where yours is right now. Okay. What I do normally is I write it on my the date. <laughs> okay. And so on this one, it's, it's I should have done it on the twenty sixth. That would have been like a month. But I you can go longer. It doesn't make a difference. It'll just make it a little more stronger. Okay. So it's ready to go. So I just take this off, and um, I'm gonna strain it in my bottle. So this might get kind of messy. You know, you want to help me? Can you, do you, want, to hold you want to hold this so it just doesn't tip over? There we go. Hold this like that. There you go. And I'm going to strain it. And I don't need to put a cheesecloth or anything in there because some of the little particles can go through. Strain it again when I'm done. And that's all the good beneficial enzymes that I need. Okay, all through here. And then I'm going to fill this up. And then what I'm going to do now is, I'll strain this out a little bit more, but I'm going to put some of these that I have saved, which is apple cider vinegar mothers that, that grow on top. And I actually have some of it in here that grew. I could even use that too. Can you guys see that? Is that what the slimy thing is? Yeah, I got pieces of that in there that grew on it. <laughs> Now, if I would go ahead and put the cloth over this mm -hmm. and just let it set, <clears throat> generally a mother will get on top of it, but it'll make it go quicker if you put one on it. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do to make it go quicker is I'm going to do one of my existing ones because I just kind of keep this going. I'm going to get one of my existing mothers. I'm going to put it on top. Doesn't it smell good? <laughs> you want to smell it too? Does it smell What's it smell like? Really, really strong apples. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna, I'll just put a blob in there of it. Does it matter how much or? You don't really need a lot. Okay. There you go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up with the cloth. And then I'll write the date on here. So what is today? What is today? The uh, 26th. The 26th. So, I have the what day. is a month from today? What will that be? The 26th. <laughs> of what? So June. June. So what is that? Four, five, 
six. Six. Six, six. Right? Six, 26. Six. 26. Mm -hmm. So then I'll check it. And then by then, the little mother thing will float on top. Just like if we make kombucha, it's kind of the same principle. And then I'll go ahead and bottle that. And then I'll have, and I just keep refilling it. And then I just put it in my reused bottles. And that's my apple cider vinegar that I use for our animals and for us. Awesome. I use it for salad dressings. We put it in our water. And the animals get it. Awesome. It's a very good probiotic to help with your, your gut health and just make you feel good. Awesome. So now yours isn't ruined. You can go home okay. and you can um, do so it. I, yeah, sorry. No, don't throw it out. No, don't throw it out because you're ready. Okay. You have the hard cider and it'll be ready. To oh, go. good. Okay, because I thought I ruined it. Nope. Okay. Ready to dump it it's down so the easy. So if you guys aren't doing apple cider vinegar, it's very, very easy. You just put your apples in with your water and your sugar, let it set, you know. Four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, and you got it going on. That's awesome. Yeah. We go through a lot of apple cider vinegar in our house. Yep, I think we all do. Yeah. So, yeah, it's easy. All right. Well, thank you. Sure. little homeschool tip for you guys, huh? <laughs> Look, I found an egg. Go ahead and get it. Cool. Bye. Come here, Sunny Boy. Come here, Sunny Boy. Come here, Sunny Boy. Put your hand out. There's the guinea hen. The guinea hens look weird. I think the guinea hens look weird. Now he'll be bossy. He's bossy. He'll want to eat everything. White one? Yeah. No, the black one's bossy. Hi, Sadie. Come here. <laughs> he does. Thank go you, young man. Come on, Sadie. Here, come on over here by Sadie. Sadie yeah. <laughs> Did that You're tickle? Over there. Did that tickle? And then let you just like wipe it on you, or you can wipe it on me. Oh. <laughs> you want to do it again? Do you want to do another one? There. Make sure she gets enough to kill boss it. Boss it. My goodness, he is crazy. Big boy. He's like. Yeah. Oh, he dropped it. Did you reach and get that one that fell down? You want to see some more? Here, call him. Put your hand. <laughs> Did that tickle your hand? Give that to Sadie. Oh, this one here. Do you want some too? Faith. Yeah. Don't be scared of them. You're all right. They won't do nothing. I'm to sing. Oh, <laughs> you got a bath. <laughs> Not, no, <I> didn't. <laughs> you got a yummy uh, horse bath. You gonna help me? <laughs> he did get you pretty wet. I he did. Yeah, I, did you see it all spray all over? You got spritz. Sneeze or something or what? Here you want. Man, this homeschool field trip is hard work.
So we just want to thank Doug and Stacy for letting us take a homeschool field trip day and come up. Um, I actually met Doug and Stacy a year ago at a homesteading conference. Um, and when we were there, I had an opportunity to just chat with Stacy for a few minutes um, about some of the health issues that I was having and um, just about the, especially the big problems I was having with um, being addicted to sugar and really pretty much having a diet that was like 95% processed sugar and junk food and soda. Um, and when I talked with Stacy, she said, you have to get that out of your diet. You just have to do it. You're killing yourself. You need to be healthy. Um, and so I went home and I did it. I quit eating sugar, um, all processed sugars, um, and um, I had, at the time, I also had a candida yeast overgrowth. Yeah. So um, I, it was hard because I had the withdrawal and I wanted to give in and then I didn't. And then uh, I had a big yeast die off and I was really sick for a couple days and I wanted to give in, but I didn't. Um, and here I am almost exactly one year later and um, pretty well all of my health issues have cleared up. Um, I miraculously lost 30 pounds. I have more energy. I sleep better at night. Um, I've had a huge improvement with depression and anxiety um, and the foggy brain and stuff that comes with those. So um, it's really been life changing. And throughout the course of the year, we've continued to just implement some of the things that we learn on the channel. We ferment foods, we're growing a lot of our foods. Um, we don't eat very much processed sugar or processed foods at all. So it's really been completely life-changing in a very short period of time. So thanks guys. Yep, thank you. Man, was that a fun time. You know you made it when you become a homeschool field trip stop. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. It was a very nice visit. With, they were a great family, and it was it was really nice. Yeah, and he made her some uh, pot holders, as you guys saw, and a handle Thank holder. Thank you, Tyson. Yeah, Tyson, thanks a lot for that. And It was just good to spend time with them. Uh, they've been watching our channel for a long time. We really like their testimony. You know, we met them a year ago at a conference, one of the homesteading conferences, and... Uh, you know, it's just like we put these videos up on YouTube and, and we hope you guys are taking the information. But when we hear the rock solid stories of how it's changed your life, I mean, it really touches me and Stacy a lot. And we really, you know, we really appreciate it. And that's one of the major contributors that keeps us motivated on putting up videos for you guys. I mean, I totally am with you. I mean, it is it's so nice when we get letters and you guys are all so nice. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Cause yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the essays and you, you know, kids sending pictures and, mm -hmm. you know, we get a lot of emails about people and how, um, how they've changed things and how they feel better. And so we just want to continue that message on. Yeah, and, and then um, if you're just trying to even, you know, live a little healthier, you know, just take little bitty steps. Yeah, inch you know, by like, inch makes it a cinch, yard by yard makes it hard. So that's it for this video. Uh, I got some... We got some big stuff coming on. Uh, we got way too much work to do I'm, here. Yeah, and we're trying to get this done. You can see, I mean, we got we have our, our raised beds are in full swing. Um, our back to eating gardens kind of taking off right now, and I'm getting this stuff done. But now I have to do a, another thing, which you guys are going to see uh, probably starting Monday or Tuesday. Um, it's a, a homesteader reached out to us, and uh, he basically wants us to me to come there and help him with his layout uh, for like aging in place and. And just try to uh, share some of the um, t techniques and things that we've learned uh, in the six years so he can implement them on his homestead and maybe avoid some um, you know mistakes so that's what's going to be going on pretty soon we got more videos coming out for you guys uh, don't forget we do uh, we have started an Amazon store so check those links out down below a lot of the stuff that we use and recommend are already down there and then there's a general link if you just want to help support the channel it doesn't cost you a dime uh, but it does help us uh, you know pay for these projects and do videos for you guys and it's all like the end of the month yeah it's almost time for the homestead homie of the month club yeah for sure we'll be giving away one of these cast iron skillets uh, strictly from Lehman's it's a Lehman's exclusive uh, and it, you know it's a clock inside of it it's really neat and uh, pretty soon we'll be picking a winner for that I usually leave that up to Stacy so if you guys want to brown nose really quick and try to get it on the last minute uh, you know, make and sure you, you know what I want you guys to comment below and let us know your favorite field trip that you went on when you were a kid. Because oh. I bet you you remember. What, you know what my favorite one was? What? 
I grew up in St. Louis, so they had the old Continental Bakery and you used to go and then at yeah. the end you got Twinkies. Was it Continental? It was, it was uh, a Continental Bakery. Oh, it smelled so good. At the end you got no, to see a movie a and you got like Ding Dongs and Ho Ho's and Twinkies. Yeah, I remember that. It wasn't That's what I used to eat that stuff. But that was really, really good. Was it? I don't think it was, it was Yes, it was. was I remember. That sure? was my favorite place I remember to go. that and the smell when you walked in there. Oh, yeah. It was and good. now that we know what we know, it was like, why did you take us there? <laughs> but it, that was I just, that was my favorite I remember field it too. Trip. We went there too. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite field trip was. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And um, we'll see you guys later. Uh, is that it? Oh, Vermont will be there June 10th. All the other Mother Earth news conferences for the rest of the year. Homesteaders of America on October 14th in Virginia. All the links are down below. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, hopefully you guys like this uh, homesteader uh, field trip visit. Yeah, my And you guys let us know your favorite field trips. I want to hear them all because I bet you have some good ones. All right, we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Hey, guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.